Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time. And today we are going to look at what I consider to be the best cage for the A7 IV. Ready? Alright, if you're here for the first time, welcome. If you like to watch movies or learn how to make movies, then this is the channel for you. Um, a lot of people have been keeping the same um, rig in terms of the same cage. A lot of people have been using the same cage for the A7 IV as well. Fits in from the review I've seen, it's okay. You know, but I want, I, I really wanted to go for it because it looked like I had no choice. I looked on Amazon, but I didn't find it. The search didn't give me to me. But when I searched for it on B, um, on B and H or um, uh, Dorama, um, I had to, I found it and then, and I copied the words, you know, the keywords that were, um, uh, phrased in the description and I pasted it on Amazon and it came out and I found that it was on Amazon. Okay, because uh, I have credit on Amazon, so I wanted to buy it from there. And the cage is from Nicey Rig. I just love the way it's very portable. Now the handle, uh, why some may say, okay, use a half cage um, because the grip, you want to have that grip. I love that they put one rod on the side. It's not a rod, but it's um, like uh, the covering, just one, one line covering so you could have that grip on the camera and i really love that because uh it still acts as protection i would rather have this than go for a half cage so for me this is the best cage for the a7 IV. one it is lighter i don't know i haven't really measured it with the others but it is light enough for me and it it uh, takes all my um desires it was made for the a7 IV in particular and there's no covering above the controls or the top of the camera that which uh, the A7 S3 um, um, original rig does. So you have to go underneath it and control the um, photo and um, whatever movie mode you want to go. All right, so I like the fact that that is open right now for me to have access directly at the top and I have a grip and which still stays in that that uh, uh, edge protection is not thick to the extent that i don't feel the grip in fact it helps my grip even better so i love that it's there and the rig is almost not non-present it's like it's it's like i'm not there <laughs> it's like you know i just want the camera to shine i don't want to be in the way uh, seriously i don't just go for cheap stuff but if i find good stuff that are cheap that are very good i love to encourage it it's the cheapest cage on amazon or anywhere else i've seen you know for the a7 IV. all right another thing i really love about this is the fact that it comes with the just like the small rig one it also comes with the um base ready to go on the aka swiss that uh, is flush you know so before now i used to um hang it on you know put the the um base or the half of the aka switch into the camera and then before i can slide it now with the cage on i don't need that i just slide in sideways in and we're ready to go you let me know what cage is rocking out there if there's anything better than this and if you love the um, A7S cage over this let me know why And then let's move on to the other accessories that I got. I wouldn't want to make a se separate video for that, so I'm going to chip in, in here as well. Now, if you're like me and you just got the A7 IV, 
then I believe that you need some accessories. Number one, you need an extra battery. A single battery comes with the camera, but uh, if you want to stay light like me, you need an extra battery. A battery charger, otherwise you will have to go um, with the charger from that comes with it. Let's see if we can show. Okay, that's the charger that comes with it. You can charge the battery in the camera with this device. So I have two suggestions for you for um, battery charging. I got two suggestions. Number one is this uh, portable one that comes in uh, uh, like, like, like a wallet. Pretty much, uh, I love it because it's covered. It's not exposed. You can put it in your back pocket and you know, nobody knows it's a charger. It's, it won't fall off or stuff like that. Yeah, it does the job. It charges, uh, it comes with its own two batteries, which uh, I'm still scared to use because I, I heard a lot of, I've not heard any bad news, but people just advise not to use uh, uh, a third battery battery. So I bought a second, um, I, bought a, I bought a second Sony battery just in case and i'm going to use the third battery only on emergencies if i'm going um light uh, run and gone with the camera and i need more than i can chew then i'll bring out those extra batteries it's a plus it's not a minus i don't think it will damage the camera but um, maybe percentage uh, may not show the right percentage or stuff like that but i definitely think it's usable so it comes with two extra bat sony batteries which is a third party battery and which makes it four now so you might want to have at least that kind of uh, setup um, especially since it comes with its own batteries now the second option for a charger is a device that i reviewed on this channel and that is um the name is x star and uh it it it, it can charge um uh, uh, sony mpf canon lp as well as this Sony Alpha series uh, batteries. It's like a transformer uh, charger. You could take out the LP part. They, they all have two slots, the Sony L and L MPF. I have the Sony Alpha series battery. I don't know what the name is. And, uh, and then I have the uh, Canon LP. Um, those are the th three I recognize out of the, about the six, I think or so out of the six so i think there are three more unrecognized three or two more unrecognized their battery which i don't have the cameras anyways it charges fast because the pd charger so you could check out the review uh and uh, uh put the links so you could check that out if it's something you want but it's gonna be a little bit more expensive just a little bit now the sony cfast express type a get the 80 gig i think that's the smallest if there's any smaller let me know uh, but that's the one i got and i just got one you know one is one won't hurt okay it was 189 or something like that less than 200 but don't, don't wait till the time when you are stuck you would at one point or the other need it because this lot this camera has the um the cfast express type a in one slot and then sd card in the other so i've got those two and uh check like ticked so i got it covered um i might get more ss sd cards that are v90s that will work with it i uh, might get more of those but i'm still new to it and both of them usually it's enough it's more than enough for my youtube videos at least for a video which of course uh, was the main major reason I got this camera. I'm good. But if you're doing commercial stuff, for which of course I have the Ursa 12K, I'm covered with that. So it depends on what you're doing. For me, this is um, YouTube and uh, I don't need to get more SD cards. Unless I fall in love with the camera too much and I want to use it to do paid gigs and stuff like that, then I'll, you know, go ahead. So um, you know what's good for you, all right? So, but you need SD cards. And um, I, I mean, for V90 SD card, I got my best suggestion would be the Rich Kia. Oh, let's not forget the card reader, the Sony um, CFast Express Type A card reader. This one is the cheapest I found, and it worked great. So cool. I had no problems with it. You need some form of uh, top handle, which doesn't come with the uh, cage. Um, you could use any type that you like, but I went for. The one that can punch um, the small read one that can 
um, that has the start and stop record uh, button on the top okay so I went for that and uh, it's connected right now and I can easily push the button when I'm recording um, handheld on a job or something like that on in the field testing or stuff like that I can control it instead of trying to look for uh, to push on the device especially when you are uh, trying to be stable trying to get some stable shot and that press may just change but when you're holding the grip it's already in your hand like this you just you got a grip okay and then you push the button on it it doesn't really shake okay so um, I love that the, um, that's that the same the same top handle works for the BGH one it works for um, um, I think uh, I'll put it I'll put the information on the screen so I know it's Sony BGH1 and um, uh, oh, oh, oh um, what's it called now cam the the other uh, cinema camera um, now uh, microphone sound now I'm gonna get back to you for for that I like to use XLR um, the last video that I shot with this camera wasn't all that great I got the um, I wanted something cheap and you know good so I got the Comica uh, AX3 I saw reviews on it online everybody was saying it was good although it was back in the days like three years ago and I said well if it was good then it still be good now even if not so good I will still be able to use it as my YouTube stuff so I wanted that and mind you I do have the zoom um, the zoom H6 I do but I just don't like the ease of use it's not as easy to use as this one and this is really cheap and I can use that to just check out and go on jobs all right so as we're talking my battery just died on me so that's why you really need to have two batteries okay so I just put in the next one and um, we're good to go so I found out that you need to raise up the um, audio level on the camera which is not a good idea uh, these preamps for these cameras are noisy and they are not good devices perfect for scratch audio but it was noisy and so I'm going to be returning the um, AX3 from Comica it's good for a camera with good preamp I think you'll get a good result but uh, um, DSLRs mirrorless are usually not the greatest and I have the uh, Zoom H6 which is ideal for it but I'm just being lazy I want something for this camera while I can take that in the field without disconnecting um, that's that then the last thing that's also optional is the stand now it's right here now I'm it's standing I mean the, the camera is standing on it or sitting on it and it's got Bluetooth control now remember I have wire control on the top handle now I've got Bluetooth control from the handle itself so if I'm vlogging which I don't usually do much it serves as a stand and I can vlog in an, you know, in an emergency and I can vlog and um, have it done right and the cage is not in the way it's not it doesn't make it any heavier I can I might take up the top handle and the monitor and just rock with the cage and the camera which is like minimal and I can push my button start while I'm holding the device similar to another product which you can choose to have too it works for all Sony cameras mirrorless cameras I think I reviewed it on the channel you could check that one that one has a, a wire connected to the camera it's just this connected just like my top handle and you can push start and stop and zoom in and zoom out just like this device itself this one also has the zoom in zoom out power on off start stop you know and it's it's a great tool to have especially for you vloggers all right so that's just the accessories uh, i wanted to tell you about and i think uh, hopefully it helped okay i've got giveaways coming on this channel if you don't know about it check out this video and um, don't forget to like subscribe see you in the next one